Okay, guys, this is for anyone who needs this. <clears throat> this is a little tutorial on how the Honeywell two-wire um, zone valves operate, how they work. Um, this is the spring-loaded zone valves, the ones with the little knob on top that has tension. You can manually open it and close it. <clears throat> so what we have here on the screen is we have the actual zone valve here in the middle. Um, we have our thermostat up here, our 24-volt transformer, and then the boiler end switch, right? Um... Here's the zone valve. Your, your zone valve is going to have five terminals. These little circles are your terminals where your wires go into. One of them is going to be TR, that's for transformer. The other one's going to be TH, that's for thermostat. And then this third one is going to be THTR, which both wires are going to go into. Down at the bottom here is for your end switch that goes to your boiler. Okay, so how these work is you're technically feeding this zone valve with two different 24 volt sources. So if you have the boiler, you know, you have two wires or two terminals on your boiler. We'll say there's two wires on this one. If you were to jump these two wires out here, the boiler would turn on, just like a furnace. If you jump out R and W, it turns the furnace on, right? So you're sending that signal up to the end switch here, okay? And then if you have another zone valve, this one's going to that one, and that one's going to this one, right? And so on and so forth. It keeps continuing on. So what's happening is... Your 24 volts is coming in here, okay, at all times when the boiler has power, and it stops. It doesn't continue over to the other side and come back to the boiler. So your boiler is not turning on, right, because you got 24 there, and it just sits. <clears throat> so now you can picture this zone valve. Let's draw a line here and change the color. Picture this zone valve being kind of cut in half. You got your 24 volts down here for the end switch. Now up top here, you also have a 24 volt, a separate transformer. You're going to send 24 volts into this transformer here and over here, okay? What that's going to do is that's going to go up to your thermostat. Let's even do this and make it easier. Let's change the color. So you're going to have this going up to your red terminal, all right? And then I don't know if I have a white color here. Yes, I do. Done. And then you're going to have white going up to your white like that, <clears throat> okay? So you'll have 24 volts going either either way it doesn't matter if these wires are crossed or not it doesn't matter you'll have 24 volts going up to the stat and it stops now once you get a call from your thermostat for heat then it sends the 24 volt signal back to this zone valve okay once it sends it back the motor in the zone valve now opens when the zone valve turns and opens there's a switch right here okay it's not connecting once it opens this switch now closes the circuit, and now the, the voltage can come back to the boiler. So now the boiler turns on, okay? Once the boiler turns on, it lets the pump, you know, lets it know, hey, the pump's got to kick on. It does it on the boiler side. So you have 24 volts going into this zone valve up to the thermostat. When it gets a call, the 24 volts comes back to the zone valve, opens the zone valve. When the zone valve opens, it closes the switch, the end switch, and then allows the voltage to go back to the boiler to turn on. Um, same thing over here. If you're on this end over here, if this zone gets a call, let's see, you have another zone valve over here. Same thing. Your voltage is going to stop. It's going to come through this wire right here, and it's going to stop. And then once this zone valve turns, because it gets a call from the thermostat, once this turns, it now closes the switch here, sends the voltage back through here to this zone valve, and then back to this zone valve, and then fires up the boiler. So if this wire here is unhooked, or any of the other zone valves are unhooked, you will not get a call back. Just because that one middle zone valve or transfer, or I'm sorry, um, the, the zone valve is calling, if it's not wired in series with the rest of the zone valves, whether it's two, three, four you have in, it, it won't kick on, okay? Because it's going through this zone valve to go back to the boiler. So that's kind of breaking it down in a quick tutorial nutshell. You can also see how it's wired here. You can see where your 24 volt transformer goes, where your thermostat wires go. With the transformer also, <clears throat> I forgot to show you that real quick. If you do have another zone valve on, you're gonna do the same thing as you do with the end switch. You're gonna bring this wire now over to your THTR, and then you're gonna bring this wire here, your thermostat, over to your TR. You're gonna jump it over. And then if there's another zone, you do the same thing. You go from here, you know, over to the next zone valve and, and continue on and on and on. You should only have up to four zone valves off of one transformer. All right, hopefully that helps.